Hey guys, it's me, Gabriel, and today we're going to be doing the Wave 1 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC. Now, I did a track tier list of all 48 tracks but before this, and if you haven't seen that, you should probably watch it. And we got 8 new courses, and I have mixed opinions about all of them. But I will say this, because there's a lot of controversy around the textures and i am gonna see them find me the textures i think they look fine yes it does not match the rest of the game but just 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 think about it mario kart 8 is like an eight year old game the textures of these dlc tracks <clears throat> are the new textures of Mario Kart. It's a new look of Mario Kart. We're just going to have to get over it. I think it looks great. Yes, it doesn't match the rest of the game. But it still looks great. Alright. Alright. Starting off a Paris Promenade. A tier. Beautiful and fun track. But it doesn't really have that catchy music that Mario Kart normally has. Some... Yeah, I think it's one of the best tracks in the DLC, though. It's just really fun to play. It has interesting mechanics. And it just looks good. It's just one of the best looking ones they added. It just looks good. So, but the music is kind of lacking here. So I'm going to make it an A tier. So it's Circuit. A tier. It has better and catchy music. And it has all right racing. I like it. But, like, it just could be better. Like, I don't really have much to say about it. It's just the looks are kind of underwhelming. There's nothing big or beautiful about it. It's just the music, and it's just kind of fun to play. That's what makes it an A tier. And I feel like in Mario Kart tracks, as long as it's fun to play, that's all that matters. Now. Choco Mountain goes S tier. I think it's a great track. Really catchy music, and it just looks awesome. I I don't really need to explain myself here. It's a marvelous track. Absolutely marvelous. I wouldn't change a thing about it. Finally, Coconut Mall. I have some talking to do about Coconut Mall, but it's going S tier just because it's Coconut Mall. And it has the jazz music. Jazz Coconut Mall. What more could you get from this DLC? But, I have one more thing about Coconut Mall. It's missing the magic it used to have. Yeah, sure, everything looks mostly the same, except for they got rid of the cars. Um, which, I don't know how I feel about the cars. I'm kind of thankful, but mad at the same time, like, the cars are a big part of the course, but at the same time, they were annoying, so I don't know where I go on the cars. But it just, it just feels like it lacks in special, like instead of it being like this huge event where you drive through a mall, I feel like it's just like one day they're like driving through a mall, but like it's when it's closed or something. I don't know, it just is missing the magic the old version used to have. I don't know what it is. Alright, well that is the Golden Dash Cup out of the way. Haven't even gone to B tier yet, which I don't think any of my of these tracks are going to be C and D tier. Honestly, we can get rid of those if we really would like. Um, because really, all of them are great. All right, let's just face it; all of them are fine. They're all marvelous. Now, Tokyo Blur. It has alright music. It's not that fun to drive, though. Yeah, sure, it has interesting mechanics, and it changes every time. But it's just, it's, I don't know. I don't know. It's not as good as Paris, but I'm still putting it in A tier, because, yeah. Actually, you know what? And then, 
we're going to name this one C. That's what the B tier, B tier is for, so then in between. So, B tier is like a, like, in between an A and a C, but like C isn't that bad. Like, C is B, but B is just like the mid. I made no sense. Okay, let's move on. Shroomridge, S tier, love it, great music, great looking track, just has one of those interesting me mechanics, alright. Got nothing to say about Shroomridge, it's awesome. Now, Sky Garden. I feel like this is going to spark a lot of controversy. But it's going C tier. It's the only track where I can't think of the music in my head. It's just that not catchy. And it is fun to drive. Don't get me wrong, but it's just... I'd rather pick all the tracks but this. It's a great track, but I'd just rather it pick all the other ones. Because, like, it's not, like, baffling to look at, or there's not a lot of detail. It's just there. And I just don't know how I feel about it. Oh, can we also talk about how there's no zero gravity parts in any of the remake courses? You know that's one of the main aspects of Mario Kart 8? I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about that. Anyway, let's just move on to the final track. We don't even to discuss why it goes S tier. It's, it's Ninja Hideaway. It deserves S tier. Great music, great track. So many things you can do with it. Um, yeah. I, I don't really need to explain my... It's there. It's, it's there. It just deserves to be there. It's my favorite track out of all the DLC courses, which is kind kind of ironic, because it's the only one which is not a remake. That is quite funny. But anyways, I think that's all. Don't I can't find anything else to talk about. So yeah, I'm just gonna stop talking. See you guys in the next video. I don't I, I don't know what the next video is going to be. But I have one or two ideas. One, it's a secret project. Two, it's either going to be like... like it's pro Either the secret project or it's going to be part two of a 100 days series. I don't know. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. And I hope you enjoyed hearing me talk. Goodbye!